you can see behind me this area of really high grass. The county school system has graciously brought out all of this equipment. Go to work, baby. So we're out here at Oakland Cemetery right now. Um, we're working with Operation Overload, which works with veterans groups to clean up the cemetery and the Mobile County Public School System. Um, and we have about 60 principals with the school system out here helping clean up, um, do a little bit of beautification, and just really clean up the cemetery. This is really good because, you know, ever since we've been out here, it's only been veterans that's been out here to clean up. And now we've got the school system getting into it. We've had the Girl Scouts, the Boy Scouts coming in. And this is what it's all about. The primary purpose was to get people to come in and take care of their own family grave. I mean, we do all the veterans, and we got 800 of those, or a little bit of eight, over 800 of those. But now we want to get everybody else to come in. And just like the gentleman that just up here, we just had a gentleman leave here from Fort Walton, Florida, Fort Walton Beach. His parents, grandparents were buried back there, but he didn't know anything, and he never could get back there in the last 15 years until he started seeing this on the news. So this cemetery has a lot of veterans' grave sites in it, and it's just been really overgrown. There's a lot of um, trees and grass that a lot of the graves are buried now, and you can't even see them. So Operation Overload came out here a couple years ago and started cleaning it up. Um, and really trying to preserve the dignity of the cemetery. And so the principals wanted to get involved in a little bit of community service today during their leadership training. So they contacted Baykeeper and we collaborated to come out here and clean up. What an opportunity to be able to make a difference and to honor these people by rediscovering where their plots are, to clean them up, to where people can go back and look and discover. and So uh, while we're help, helping these families and, and these uh, people that have passed on, the real uh, honor is ours. And uh, you know, just the feeling of being able to care, to be given the opportunity to care and to make a difference. And so for that, I personally am very thankful as well as all the others out here that we were given this opportunity. We aren't just sitting at tables, listening to someone speak, we're out getting, uh, learning something we can do with our own students to get out and make a difference in our community. So if we start the train rolling, then it can only go up from there. There's a lot of history here. We got Tuskegee Airmen buried here. We got Buffalo Soldiers here. We got men who rode with the 9th and 10th Horse Cavalry. We got men who rode with Teddy Roosevelt and the Rough Riders. So there's a lot of history. Not only that, we got the principal of uh, the first principal who the school, Manatee Blunt, She's buried right back there next to the Tuskegee Airmen. Uh, Dr. Yvonne Kennedy, you know, Bishop says she's buried right down the road here to the left. So uh, Dr. Gould, Dr. Frank, a whole lot of people that people don't know about, a lot of civil rights leaders, and um, this just bring the whole thing, you guys bring the whole thing to fruition to keep, keep it out there. It's really exciting to just see the school system and these veterans groups taking the initiative to come out here and see something that needs to be cleaned up and then go out and actually do it.